there's some discussion happening on Twitter um, right now. Aziz posted this uh, this tweet. He said, there's this list and like people, are, there's a lot of people actually commenting on it, quote tweeting and talking about it, and then discussions happening in like their own sectors, I would say. Um, and they said Socket, Sonic and Tekken Master are top two. Interesting. This is the thing, guys. I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people that are making up these lists, it's like, it says here, top five NRS players of all time. NRS players of all time, right? So just by saying that alone, I feel like, I feel like you, like you can't put someone in this list that has only, um had results in like one nrs game which is why i feel like you can't put ninja killer on this list even though i feel like ninja killer is like undisputed top two with sonic fox and mk11 i just feel like when it comes to all time like we're talking mk9 injustice mkx injustice 2 MK11. That's five games. If we gave equal weight to all five games, and let's say Ninja Killer is the best in MK11. Let's say Ninja Killer is the best in MK11. He still didn't compete in the four other games that were out. Ninja is also incredibly good in MKX, but never competed in MKX in tournaments to get those accolades, to get those trophies and all that stuff. So that's why, in my opinion, you can't really include Ninja Killa in this list. Obviously, Ninja Killa is by far, without a doubt, like top two, in my opinion, MK11 players. That That's undisputed. But if we're talking about all, all time, I feel like you can't be talking about someone that's only had accomplishments in one game, right? That's, that's my argument for why I wouldn't include Ninja Killa in this list. Even says he played in X. Yeah, I know Ninja Killa played Mortal Kombat X. The problem is just that Ninja Killa never competed in Mortal Kombat X when it was in tournaments, you know? Stuff like that. If Ninja Killa did and let's say let's say Ninja Killa competed in MKX and was making all those top placements and stuff, then quite possibly we could put him there. Um Noodle says Pig of the Hut maybe. The the thing with Pig of the Hut is like Pig of the Hut incredibly strong in mk9 injustice 2 had many many top placements including a second place finish at evo but i feel like when it came to mkx pig didn't really have many placements in mkx maybe he made like an esl final or something like that but i feel like that might have been it i think he did like esl got maybe top three in esl but then it didn't really place in the mkx tournaments injustice 2 he didn't compete really well he competed a little bit i actually beat him in injustice 2 evo um but he was at injustice 2 evo he didn't really place in injustice 2 and then mk11 he didn't really play so uh pig i wouldn't really put in in my top five personally although i love the guy i have a lot of respect for the guy tekken master at number two then maybe says 11 i'll i'll show you guys what my list is this is my tweet i said more i think about it the harder it is to make this list but this is my top five personally i put sonic fox um dragon foxy tekken master djt the sonic fox number one honestly these other four here aren't necessarily in any kind of order in my opinion but this is just what i feel is um top five um i also said lots of people to consider though honorable mentions to rewind forever king scar hayate bio tweety i've done some tough too you know just saying give my my explanation let me give my reasoning for for the top five. Sonic, okay, we'll just say. Sonic been competing since MK9. Um, I honestly don't know if Sonic got, like, top eights in MK9, although I feel like they might have. But without a doubt, the best in Injustice 1. Without a doubt, the best player in MKX, at least at the time. Without a doubt, the best player in Injustice 2. And had the best tournament accomplishments in... Uh, MK11. So, obviously. Obviously Sonic. Tristan says, what about Samij? Samij is an interesting one as well. Um, honestly, I didn't have any more characters to make more names in this tweet, but honestly, I would have mentioned Samij 
in this section. I probably would mention Perfect Legend in this section, and I could talk about him a little bit as well. Um, these other four people, I'm going to tell you the reasons why I mentioned them. Dragon. Dragon started in MKX, right? So he's been around for a while. He's been competing since 2015, right? So Dragon, um, he did get EVO um, top eight in MKX. He's gotten EVO top, he's won EVO for Injustice 2, where I got second. Mer. Um, he's also won E-League for Injustice 2. He won actually a bunch of shit for Injustice 2. Um, MK11, he made EVO. He got multiple top eight, probably top two finishes, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure he even got top eight at like every single tournament he attended. Maybe he missed one or something like that. But like Dragon was like killing shit in MK11. Like if Sonic Fox didn't exist, Dragon would, would have like probably like 10 more tournament wins honestly some shit like that dragon was like super dominant in mkx injustice 2 and uh mk11 so kyle says dragon pick caught me a little off guard the dragon pick why i feel like dragon's like a pretty obvious pick honestly um didn't really compete in injustice 1 or mk9 but it is what it is um yeah, I feel like Dragon definitely has to be there. Foxy. Foxy is an interesting one because Foxy is one of the very few people that's been around since, like, the beginning of um, the, you know, these these wave of NRS games and NRS actual, like, competition and shit, like M MK9 type of shit. Foxy's been around since then, competed since then. I'm not super familiar with his accomplishments uh, from MK9, but I'm pretty sure he's won shit um injustice one i don't know if he ever really came to um north america to compete but i know he was easily the best player in europe at the time and probably would have done well in in uh in north america if he had chosen to travel to north america um so there's that mkx he got second place first evo he made multiple top eight finishes made it like for esl finals um won like various events and shit Foxy, like, fuck shit up in that. Injustice 2 was making all the finals, made multiple top 8s. MK11 was making multiple top 8s. Might have won a couple stuff as well. I know he got on Evo top 8 as well, I'm pretty sure. I feel like Foxy is undisputed in this section as well, most likely. Like, honestly, Sonic Fox is number 1, but if I had to pick a number 2, it would probably be Foxy. It would probably be Foxy. And then we got Tekken Master. Tekken Master came into the scene, as far as I know, with MKX. Um, got second in the second uh, EVO for MKX. Made multiple top eight finishes in MKX. Injustice 2, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he got top eight at EVO in that as well. He got a bunch of other top eights, did a lot of shit in that. So, Tekken Master definitely was up there as well. And in MK11, he like won a couple events, top eight at EVO again in, in MK11 bunch of stuff won the we play shit like tekken master is like in my opinion definitely up there too uh so he's definitely there and then we have uh i put djt as a pick as well because djt is another one of those guys that has been around since mk9 days won uh evo for mk9 2013 got second place I believe. I think, yeah, I think he got second place at EVO for Injustice 1 the first year. He's made top 8 finishes in, I think, every single game. Maybe not MK11 in, like, offline tournaments, but... Or actually, maybe not in Injustice 2 either. But he definitely did a lot of shit in MKX. A lot of shit in Injustice 1, MK9. He's still, like, incredibly strong in MK11. Like, I think DJT is 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 up there but it's like one of those things where there's a lot of other people that i was considering and it was a little bit hard to pick someone um like i have mentioned people like rewind forever king scar hayate bio tweety i've done some stuff too i did want to say so for example someone like tweety i feel like tweety has to be like an honorable mention simply because he is one of the very few people that during Injustice 2, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar, but during Injustice 2, there's a, a period of time in the second year of Injustice 2 where he, uh, he won Combo Breaker. 
He got top two at Evo, and he got top two at CEO, and this was like all back to back to back. Like that was back to back to back. He was just killing shit in Injustice Two. Like Tweety was incredibly dominant in Injustice Two. He didn't really compete in um in MK uh, X when it was like in tournaments and stuff. I know he would play it, but I think he was more so like an online player at the time. And then MK Eleven, I feel like he's done a lot. I feel like he's insane. Uh, in MK11, especially as of late, like, he's been winning, like, insane amounts of shit. So, I just feel like Tweety has to be an honorable mention. Bio's done a lot as well. Like, Bio been competing since Injustice 1, like myself. Multiple top 8s in Injustice 1. MKX, a rough start, but ended up making, like, ESL finals. Ended up getting some top 8s later on. Uh, Injustice 2... Qualified for the finals. Uh, he won uh, versus... Was it versus fighting? Uh, he won... Um, he won some other tournaments as well. He won like this pretty big Australian tournament. He qualified for a bunch of shit. He got a top 8 at EVO in the second year. Uh, and then he's also been doing really well in like various online shit for uh, MK11. So like Bio's definitely in there like been around for a long time too hayate has evo medals in mkx injustice 2 and mk11 i'm pretty sure he's made uh top eight at evo i think every year he's competed which is pretty insane he's won some stuff including vianality for mk11 uh and he was he was wrecking shit since mkx mkx injustice 2 mk11 hayate's been around like Hayate's definitely, like, up there, up there. Petty Jace is where Samij, I was saying earlier. Like, I would have mentioned Samij as well, but I only have so many characters that I can type in the list. But yeah, Samij has been around a long time as well, you know. I don't know how much he did in MKX. I feel like he, he did get some top 8 finishes in MKX. He got a lot of top 8 finishes in Injustice 2, and he got some in, uh, in MK11, but I don't think he was as dominant. Forever King. See, Forever King's an interesting one where Forever King, to this day, will chat will 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 play anyone in an NRS gauntlet. To this day. He will play anyone in an NRS gauntlet that consists of the five NRS games, and he will most likely beat most people. He's been competing since MK9. He has multiple top eight finishes in Injustice. And he even mentioned like there was a moment in time where Forever King was literally considered top five in Injustice One. To considered top five in MKX. There was a point in the game's life. Injustice Two, um, MK11. He didn't really do as well, but like he's been around for a long time. And like part of me wanted to make him in my top five list, but I just felt like I couldn't put him in there over DJT, just because I feel like DJT with the Evo win and other top eight finishes and stuff like that. I just put him put him above scar is another one that's been around since mk9 you know multiple evo uh, top eight finishes multiple tournament wins like he's been doing a lot as well i don't know if he did a whole lot in justice one but i know he did a lot he was like super dominant in mkx actually super dominant especially towards like year two of mkx he was like super super up there in justice two he had a rougher start to it but then he ended up doing quite well towards the end of it. And then MK11, he was doing really well, like, throughout. So I feel like Scar is, like, up there, too. Let's talk about Rewind. Rewind is, is one of those people that definitely a lot of people would consider Rewind top five of all time. Um, he was one of the people in my mind when I was considering my list. But I think the main reason I didn't put him in my personal top five list is simply because the majority of his accomplishments um, were from Injustice 2 and from MK11. So that's only two out of the five NRS games. I know he did play MKX, um, and he did actually compete uh, in a couple MKX tournaments, but I don't think he got any uh, actual results in MKX. I don't think it was until Injustice 2 came out that he started actually uh, making like those offline top 8s. He got the Injustice 2 EVO win for the second year of Injustice 2, 2018. Um, and then he in MK uh, in MK11, he got multiple top 8 finishes, one Celtic throwdown, and then has been pretty dominant ever since. So, Rewind definitely uh, 
someone to mention for sure but i think just because he's he's only really had accomplishments in the last two games is the main reason why i wouldn't put him in this all-time category but he definitely deserves props for that uh i did want to also mention perfect legend who i didn't mention in the comments similar to Sami, just because i didn't really have enough character space to like say everything but perfect legend back-to-back -back evo champion for mk9 that was 2011 2012 um i i think he must have got various top eight placements outside of that but i'm not super familiar with the mk9 like era and stuff like that injustice one though i know he got multiple top eight flip finishes he was always really good with batman and uh mkx he did get like esl qualification he qualified for esl a couple times maybe all the time honestly um and i he got like uh, a top eight finish at combo breaker in the second year i believe it was for uh, mkx so he did a little bit in mkx but he just wasn't nearly as consistent i feel during mkx and with injustice 2 and mk11 it was kind of the same deal which is probably the reason that um i wouldn't put him in my personal top five but i do see definitely do see the argument for it like a back-to-back -back evo champion that it's, it's not easy to do for sure uh, but yeah, that's that's what I have to say about that. Uh, I guess the last person that I'll talk about is myself. Um, started with Injustice 1, multiple top 8 finishes in the second year of Injustice 1 when I started competing uh, internationally. And MKX came out. I won Turiukin for that. I got top 8 uh, at EVO, third place EVO. Uh, Injustice 2, I got second place in EVO for the first one. And then various top 8 finishes in that um and mk11 didn't do that well for the first year and you know covid whatever and then so the, the online stuff i did make some like did win some stuff online for mk11 and stuff but i don't feel like we generally count those when we talk about these type of things so my accomplishments are mainly in the injustice one mkx injustice two type of era so i wouldn't really put myself in top five personally but you know you can talk about me anyways um but that's my list guys feel free to let me know in the comments what you think of my list what you think of the explanations i have for my list if it's fair feel free to put your own list in the comments below for your all time you know if if you just want to make a list for mk11 that's cool too uh, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time.